welcome back in today's video i am going to show you this application form which is created by using the google sheet and google app script okay so this application takes the informations for joining our team for example a people want to join our team they need to submit a application so that person who want to join our team will fill this form okay so you can use this to show, so you can use this form to get the applications from the users or submitters okay right now you can able to see here this is a form i will just fill up my form here this has this form has many features i just uh, select here enter my name for example this is my name and this is my contact number and this is my email id okay so you can see here emails looks great looks good and phone number is also good okay now i need to enter the date of the birth i just select the date select the gender select the education level post graduate and then select any indian state right now how you can add your states i will also explain you so i just select here a particular state and select a application position applied for application i just select here customer care you can also select anyone else and you can also add in the drop down as much as you can and then preferred contact method is whatsapp or email so now when you click on this submit application the application is not going to be submitted why is not going to be submitted what's the error comes you have already applied with this email address means a person with this email address already applied this application and they will get a, a email as well like this application received and this okay so now what we need to do okay uh, for example let we for example i just remove this email id and now i just click on this submit application now also it will not allow to the submit now it will say you already have applied with this phone number now what's the matter is this i just come to the google sheet just remove this and now i just go to my form and click on this submit application so when i click on this submit application as of now you can able to see here your response has been submitted to our hr team okay now you will also get a email in your uh, gmail okay you can see here application received thank you for applying this is the application and this is the information and this is the what happens next our hr teams you can customize this how you can customize this you just simply go to your google sheet simply click on this extension and click on this app script so when you click on this app script you will see the code okay this code is available in the description but i will show you how you can modify the code okay now the thing is that first thing you need to do very openly you just copy this sheet id what is your sheet id no matter what is it you just copy that particular sheet id replace with this particular sheet id okay that's good okay now you can understand this is a function uh, do get which can uh, calls this index.html now function get inside indian states so in this function i have added all the indian states so you can add your country states here for example you can replace them the andhra pradesh to your own ones and again you can see here so this is the system and this is the email you can also modify the template of the email and also modify the text from here okay hope you understand when you go to your uh, index.html uh, in the index.html you can also add the drop downs from here okay you can if you want to add a drop down you can simply copy this and just below here and come here now one thing you must need to remember if you are adding a one more field you just for example you are going to add postgraduate 2 okay for example let take let take example postgraduate 2 and you you change this but you don't change this so whenever a user selected this at the in the google sheet this data will be the post not this data will be post this is a user display statement and this is a statement which we saved in our google sheet okay so for clearance we use here postgraduate 2 
we just need to add here this and now all okay so same like that you can also add here the drop downs uh, uh, how much you want so in this way you can easily modify your form add the drop downs and make it according to you very easily and effectively one more thing after making the changes you must need to click on this new deployment and make a new web app make sure it's with uh, anyone and click on this deploy so when you click on this deploy you will see at uh, this particular link open this particular link so your web web app will be accessible your application form will be accessible okay hope you like this video you like this concept so this application code is available in the description hope you like this video you like this concept and also whenever uh, one last course one last thing uh, you can also get the ip address of this particular person okay what does this mean for example a person is applied from this particular state okay so in the back end you will know that you can use a functions in your google sheet to check that from where is this ip address you can identify using some api keys which ip address which is the state okay so you can also track the users from where the data comes it's not the anomaly it's not the uh, one person sending the same the data from the same ip address so it will also help you to track the data when you respond this this particular applies this particular form submitters and these particular persons so hope you like this video you like my concept and you like my uh, the way of explaining you so be comment in this video and watch this video completely and subscribe our channel and share with your friends we always making a great contact for you okay take care thank you very much